the only mechanical part on the car that didn't get pulled apart. Um, and uh, when we pulled it apart, it wasn't good. It was messy. So yeah, the worms, it's sat with it's had water in it. And so the worms really badly pitted and it's really notchy. So when you're diving, it'll be okay there. And then when you turn it a tiny bit, it'll take a big, a big leap to one side. So yeah, you see all the fucking- you know, All the chatters. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, look at the bottom of it. So the bearing runs. Yeah. So the problem with most of the uh, A bodies over here, the Mopars, is they've got an alloy steering box. And uh, so, which, you know, whether it's alloy or cast iron doesn't make a difference, but they're just a different size. This is the, um, this needs to be, well, on our one is 10 inches long, and we, there's, this is a board here, and it's got a similar length shaft, which is 10 inches, but the depth of the box, the worm, is a different height. So, uh, keep looking. The, the worm will be the same as what we've got on our box. Obviously the exterior casting is going to be different for left hand drive, but I think um, we haven't seen any of that gear that looks super close. Uh, this is the same model car, so we can only hope that if we buy this one, we can pull the worm out of it and interchange some parts. So we'll just do a quick comparison and see how we go with it. Yeah, even though the top plate looks different, I'm looking at this bulge, this bulge here. Looks very similar, doesn't it? Inch and a half. That's about the same. And the depth is going to be very similar. And the body length on this is, oh, let's call it, let's call it seven inches. Is that screw right here? Yeah, and that um, there's a there's a big nut. Where it oh, goes it's like on. a pin. It goes on to the drag link, and there'll be three bolts. Yeah. I might be able to get that forklift in here. <laughs> yeah, oh well, fingers crossed that's going to do the job. Serious business, steering. Hey, I've, I've had him least. inspect, hey, I've had him inspect every, every freaking movie's made. movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, so all right, no, 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 no. I say, look, I want to show you that all these rollers <laughs> yeah. are in there. Look, I so want to show you all into the wall ball at 160 mile an hour. So when he crashes <laughs> yeah. at 160, he was the chap. Like <laughs> hey, I may have done the work, but he was quality control engineer. <laughs> really just today fixing small problems we had uh, we'd noticed that the voltage was just fluctuating slightly so uh, we had to spend a couple of hours with a test light running around the car and found that uh, after talking to Mitch uh, in Australia um, one of the Haltech technicians Mitch Smith 
jumped online, had a look at the diagnostics for the engine and everything looked happy but you know the voltage was just too low. The dash was reading about 11 volts and, and we had 13 and a half at the ECU and you know just all the regular readings. Everything but the, the ECU seemed to be happy. So uh, yeah just grabbed an earth wire just to check it and the voltage came up so uh, yeah pretty lucky with that one. I was uh, pretty scared of uh, trying to deal with a an electrical gremlin in a car like this the the um, the electronics is, is quite overwhelming and uh, luckily I've got a couple of mates who are auto electricians so I've never really had to get too heavily involved in it but yeah very lucky found the earth so we're we're pretty good to go here at the moment um, we picked up a nail in the front tire on the edge of the tire and, and it can't be repaired so we're gonna put another front tire on it tomorrow but uh, yeah then we're gonna get back on the road uh, try and get over to Oklahoma City tomorrow and see if we can catch up with our farm truck and Asian. We, we tried to catch them the other day, but that kind of fell through. So, uh, yeah, good to have everything, uh, everything ready to roll. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day. Hey, where the hell's my damn T-shirt at? It's been a year, two years now. I want it.